Welcome back. So for months, there has been a critical need for blood in our area, and we've kept you updated the entire time. Now the need is even more desperate with the local blood supply dangerously low. Chelsea Smith from the Community Blood Center is with us live to explain why this is a blood emergency. So Chelsea, good morning, but let's get right to it. What is our current local blood supply? Hi, thank you for having me. Good morning. Um, unfortunately, our local blood supply is not good. As we've been saying for months, uh, we've actually seen a chronic deficit of blood donations for about um, a year now, since uh, April of last year through the entirety of the pandemic, we have not exceeded a seven day supply, which is what we need to comfortably supply our hospitals. Uh, basically, what we're saying with this blood emergency is that the shortage we already have we already have had just got worse. So we're sitting at about a um, little over a four day supply overall, which is very concerning for us as we head into um, the Easter critical time period where people are going to be maybe out of town or they have plans. They're not going to come in and donate. We always see donations drop around then too. So to see our donations already this low before we even hit that holiday weekend is extremely concerning for us. And when you put that word emergency in the title, something goes off for people. You know, are there specific blood types that you're short on or does the blood emergency apply to everyone? So the blood emergency does apply to all blood types right now. We are low on all of them. However, we are exceptionally low on O types and B types. So if you are one of those, please come and donate as soon as you possibly can. If you're not one of those, please come and donate as soon as you possibly can. We need all blood types, um, all types of donations. That includes platelets, plasma, red blood cells. We need everything right now. Um, our supply is low across the board, but yeah, definitely those O types and B types were exceptionally low right now. So we know the needs there. People in Kansas City are very generous. So how in Kansas City can the community step up to help? So um, a few ways main ways to donate blood. We need donations. We need donors. So if you're a donor who hasn't come back to donate since the pandemic happened, we encourage you to consider doing that. If COVID concerns are um, a priority, please go online, savealifenow.org slash coronavirus and look at all of our COVID safety protocols. Please know these are not mass gatherings. They are essential healthcare practice. And we are uh, ensuring that these uh, are safe and controlled environments for donors to come in and make donations. Um, also, you can host a blood drive. We always need blood drive locations. We always need blood drive hosts. And as you can imagine, uh, we still have not actually, um, we've not exceeded our pre-COVID uh, blood drive numbers uh, in our communities. So we're still low on our blood drives. There are still a lot of organizations that are not able to host blood drives still a year into the pandemic. And so we need others to step up and fill that place. Okay, thank you for explaining that, Chelsea, and for your time. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, so you can go to savealifenow.org for more information on where you can donate, or you can call 816-753-4040.